Good morning and good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're joining from. I'm Alessio Cozzolino, the director of the Master in Strategic Management at UCD Smart Business School in Dublin. And uh, you are very welcome to this online uh, open day session on our program. In uh, today's session, which is going to be of about 30 minutes, today context and why strategic management is important for you guys uh, and for employers as well, then we will uh, enter into the details of the program structure. Um, and I'll try to be more specific as possible, but of course there will be Q&A sessions and there is also a program office later on. We will uh, speak about the type of students that we are looking for and what are the job opportunities, our track records and the current situation uh, in, uh, in the markets that you certainly know already. Please remember that you have the opportunity of writing your questions uh, through the chat, through the uh, Q&A function in Zoom, and we will answer the question at the very end in a live Q&A session with the program manager, manager and a member of the admission team being on board on this uh, conversation for today. So again, let me start from uh, uh, the context probably the problem uh, uh, of today's markets. So we live in a context in which uh, there is a huge amount of uh, innovation and technological and market disruption. Just think about the uh, autonomous vehicle uh, uh, disruptions. The fact that just a couple of days ago, uh, Elon Musk has announced to allow people to purchase Tesla electric vehicles through Bitcoins or the possibility of the HoloLens in virtual reality of allowing people to solve problems and work remotely. So all things extremely important, critical and strategic for the situation in which we are today. All of, and on top of that, there is the COVID pandemic and the fact that we are forced to, to work remotely or do a number of activity in a totally different way. So in, a, in such a context, uh, where all possible forces at play seems to be really entering in a, in a, in a very complex mix, uh, what it becomes particularly important is to have uh, a strategic direction, an ability of positioning uh, ourselves, uh, the company in, uh, in the new trajectory of evolution and change, so that the crisis can become eventually an opportunity, or at least it can be governed a bit more. So strategic management is really about uh, allowing people and company to understand and navigate position themselves in very complex and turbulent environment. So why strategic management we think at UCD is particularly appropriate for you guys from whatever places you are joining today? Because UCD globally has a strong recognition in uh, uh, the FT and the economist ranking and all possible academy rankings in general. And for example, uh, uh, it is a member of all possible alliances and is a triply accredited university. And on top of that, the strategic management master program is a very established one in the business school. The city of Dublin, as you well know, is a technology hub in Europe and uh, and the school is the number one uh, in, in the country. So it's a number of, there is a number of reasons why it is a very valuable and attractive proposition to study strategic management with us. But I guess that the most important part that you should be looking for when you make your decision after your bachelor or if you are uh, ending a temporary job positioning and you want to do a master, is what type of content, what type of uh, academics I will find, and what type of colleagues, students, tend to attend this type of master. So let's see together uh, some elements of the program structure. It is divided in three trimesters. Each of them is of 30 credits. On average, each module uh, uh, course is 10 credits. And, uh, and you can attend full time in one year or part time in two years, always the same number of 90 credits during the year. In the first trimester, uh, you will have the possibility of studying uh, uh, corporate and competitive strategy 
uh, which are fundamental, of course, for making the major strategic decision at the corporate level and in the competitive arena, as well as decision-making strategies. Because one thing is understanding the strategy, one thing is how to make decision and implement those, which is available additional modules that we offer, and it's a quite unique uh, uh, addition to this master. And technology and innovation, which is one of the imprinting of this master program. We have a lot of technology innovation and entrepreneurship, uh, we, as we will see later on. And uh, just things that in the three trimester, you will always have a combination of academics and professionals, ex-managers. Um, so you will be exposed to both type of competencies. In the second trimester, which goes from January to April, uh, you have the opportunity of studying behavioral strategy and leadership and uh, strategic resource allocation, which is about finance for uh, uh, strategic uh, uh, management. And those are two core optional modules. So again, 20 credits in total. And you have the chances of uh, selecting one optional module out of a list of many uh, selected modules in the area of entrepreneurship, uh, innovation, creativity, human side of innovation, uh, and even uh, uh, mindful and re resilience are all possible uh, uh, competencies and skills which are particularly useful in today's market. In the third trimester, which ran from May to July here at UCD, um, you'll have the chances of studying negotiation, uh, which is available module on the practices on how to make a deal, an essential uh, uh, competence for strategic managers. And uh, there is a possibility of uh, selecting two optional modules between, again, a broad list. Let me just point one of the recent addition we made uh, uh, two years ago, machine learning for business. So this is essentially uh, uh, artificial intelligence for uh, business. So we are working uh, uh, on a number of modules every year in order to make the program extremely attractive for the job market and extremely valuable for students attending our classes. And uh, as I said at the beginning, the faculty is always composed of ex-manager, executive, and people with PhD from whatever part of the world. So a very international uh, class. Just uh, as a consideration, all optional modules uh, tend to have a bit more of flexibility compared to the core modules in a sense that this is the offer we are giving this year. And it tends to be the same year over years, but some changes, of course, can, uh, can take place. There is also an opportunity of uh, doing a dissertation, which is a complex speech, uh, complex master thesis, in substitution of the three modules for the summer. So this is an option that you have in case you are interested, for example, in doing a PhD. And let me say that what I've, what I've shown so far, it is the structure uh, of the program in a very consolidated form which has been successful for many, many years. In, uh, in the recent, uh, just this year, we are going to make an additional experiment, uh, which is allowing our students to consider, instead of doing two optional modules in the summer, doing one additional module of 20 credits, which is more practical. For example, for example a business project, together with other students in team or an internship. And here we say that we just offer the option to apply for the internship. We do not give the internship, but the chances of applying and converting the internship, if it is approved, uh, in credits, 20 credits. This is again, just an addition that we are offering in 2021 as an experiment, we will see how the market is responding, uh, what is the perception of students. So my advice is do your decision based on what we have said before, a strong program structure that for more than 20 years uh, uh, has satisfied our students and our uh, employers. And just keep in mind that we are keeping working constantly 
on eventually adding additional things to the to the program so there is a, a governance board in the program which is very strong and active this is my point so what type of students we are recruiting we tend to get uh, about 60 percent of students internationally um, and uh, they either come straight from the bachelor or they have a three to six seven eight years sometimes uh, work experience um, on average we have people with a business background or an engineering background especially from countries like uh, india but also china rest of europe however we are open to many social sciences as I said, it's a full time program in one year, but you can attend the program as a part time student in two years. And there are some scholarship uh, that apply. You may probably want to ask to the admission team later on or in the future. Uh, on the employer side, this is a good selling point, another good selling point of the program because we had the privilege of having an employment rate of 97% after six months from the graduation in the last uh, uh, couple of years. I think those data are related to the class of 2018. 2019 is more or less the same, and we don't have the data for 2020, of course. What type of uh, uh, jobs uh, our students tend to, to take? They tend to go, first of all, in major companies from management consulting to finance, and they're all leading a corporation from LinkedIn and Amazon to the big four in consulting and, uh, and many established international uh, banks, banks of America and so on and so forth. And uh, the typical role is uh, more or less in this list. You can be after the program a business analyst most likely if you were a bachelor before applying you can be an associate even a business uh, uh, executive uh, developer so there are possibilities depending also of your initial experience uh, but in general from associate to analyst and in some more senior positioning positions those are the uh, typical pathways uh that, that our students tend to tend to have uh, when they're on the job market now to be uh, concrete on the current situation you will certainly need to keep in mind that what we have seen in the last uh, couple of years cannot be probably repeated immediately due to the uncertain covid uh, uh, 19 uh, pandemic but there are also some uh, uh, sign of improvements. Uh, for example, we as a school have been observing that in the spring recruitment fair that is taking place today, there has been an increase of the employers offering uh, openings. And uh, uh, you may want to look at this Irish article, Irish Time article, just to have a sense of how recruiters are um, providing uh, some. Uh, uh, positive information about the, the possibility for the future. But what is more important is that all companies, when they will start recruiting again, and they are kind of in the process now, they will, they are looking for uh, uh, reskilling the labor force with people which are often young, talented, capable of uh, working uh, through uh, technologies and uh, capable of adapting uh, also that have uh, uh, the, the typical uh, skills that you can uh, easily develop through a one-year program uh, which is hopefully physical in one part and, uh, and, uh, and, and online in the rest or, or depending on the situation fully online we cannot say but in general uh, it is a gym in which uh, you will develop uh, valuable skills uh, through uh, the same experience of working on project, on case studies, uh, on analysis uh, at the group level, at the individual level with many uh, different structures, very well trained in online teaching. So it is a major opportunity 
for you to get to know what are the best um, competences to, to develop the best competences and the skills which are required in the job market uh, that is the more common uh, situation today. So probably a job market of distance, remote working, or a blended situation. Uh, at UCD, you will find a very supportive environment in uh, terms of uh, safety and attention to your needs and, uh, and, and the emotional support which is needed also when each one of us is working under stress, under a more, com under a more complex uh, situation with other duties. So we have policies and a lot of attention for students and the feedback uh, that we have uh, got has been indeed uh, particularly uh, important in this respect. Now, uh, before leaving uh, the words to uh, our program manager, Joy O'Hara, which will tell us something about the student feedback, I will uh, uh, draw your attention to uh, a couple of websites in case you want to delve into the specificities such as the SmartFit admission uh, uh, email or the uh, possibility of scholarship. And of course, uh, you can contact myself or wh whoever is in the admission team and in the program office to have more additional information. Now, in the interest of time, as I said, I will uh, stop the presentation here. Uh, leave the floor to Joy for a couple of consideration, and then we open to all your Q and A's. Thanks very much uh, for your uh, uh, attendance again. Thank you very much, Alessia. That was a wonderful presentation. Welcome everybody this morning. Um, it's absolutely fabulous to have uh, so many people interested in our program. Um, we look forward to meeting you all in, in September. Um, I just wanted to say something about the feedback, which I'm sure you're all curious about from autumn trimester and also from last March when we went online. It has been extremely positive. Um, students are very happy with the offering. And um, just, just to say that really, that uh, the students uh, do appear to, to be very happy. The feedback, the solid feedback is that students are happy and uh, very content on, on this programme. And um, yes, we have a diversity of students that join us um, every year. Um, we have gotten to know each and every one of the students. We have the opportunity also for you to apply for the position of class ambassador. This is a fantastic role where you can uh, represent the views of your class. Um, you also get to liaise um, with the module coordinators with um, Dr. Alessio Cossolino and myself. Um, so there are various different roles within the class ambassador umbrella. One is careers and the other is social. And uh, we also have careers as social and academic. So we would run class ambassador meetings um, once or possibly twice per trimester. And uh, class ambassadors are expected to gather feedback from the class and sort of be the eyes and ears of the class and to uh, organize um, maybe some social events with our help. Um, and uh, yes, that's that's basically um, all um, I have to talk about. Um, I'm obviously on email joy.ohora at ucd.ie. If you want to email me directly about your own uh, particular circumstance and um, anything that you are concerned about. I'm sure you have the same question maybe about being back on campus and just to speak to that is that we are um, optimistic and that uh, we are keeping everybody safe in line with uh, government guidelines. But uh, we do have the vaccination rollout here, which appears to be going well. And uh, yes, we are optimistic about being uh, back on campus and uh, engaging back in in, in campus life. Thank you. I'm going to have a look at the Q&A actually down here. I've got four questions. So I have a question here. Uh, what has been the success with the jobs after this MSc programme looking at the present COVID situation? 
so that's a common question. Um, I might bring Laura in on that actually, Laura from Admissions, and perhaps I can help a little as well. Good morning, Laura. Laura Keeley from Admissions. Hi, Joy. Hi, everybody. What's your sense on that at the moment? Well, as stated in the presentation, there are um, we do run career events throughout the year at Smurfit. So we do have a dedicated careers team for our Smurfit students. So as a Smurfit student, you can uh, contact our careers team and they'll give you advice about, you know, job opportunities, about your CV. So it, it is looking very good this year in terms of um, job opportunities. We do focus a lot on um, career events and career opportunities for our students. So it is very highlighted throughout your Smurfit experience. Um, but the feedback that we're getting is that it's very positive this year, that there are job opportunities. And again, this is a master's level, so you are going to gain such knowledge and experience from the master's. And um, that is what recruiters are looking for, too. Thank you so much, Laura. I have a question for Alessia, if that's all right. Um, how much would you consider this program a quantitative MSc in percentage, more or less? How many modules? Well, I, I think maybe, Alessia, you covered that, but just in terms of the quantitative element of the programme, in terms of structure, what would you say to that? Um, I think it's a good question. Now, quantifying is probably uh, a relative uh, uh, element because if you are from, a, from a, an engineering background, you may say 0%. If you are probably from a humanistic background, even uh, some uh, finance can appear um, a lot to you. I would say 20% uh, on average, let's say, including uh, all possible backgrounds from which to, you are applying. And I'm uh, thinking of uh, the first uh, module on decision-making uh, strategies where there is some uh, math, very simple one, and uh, uh, the module uh, in uh, strategic resource allocation, which is again a financial module, where there is some bit of calculation, but it's nothing uh, undoable. And I've noticed over the year that students uh, uh, which work at the team level, they tend to help each other. And if there is someone knowing more of the mathematical skills and quantitative uh, uh, having the more quantitative uh, capabilities, they tend to help those who have less of those. But in general, I would say no more than 25, 30% at most. So it shouldn't be too scary. That's fantastic, Alessio. Thank you so much. And I have a question from uh, Richard. If you have an arts undergrad, undergraduate degree, can you still apply for this uh, program? Yes, Maybe Laura might be able to help us there. Yes, so um, yes, so if you don't have a business degree, we do uh, consider students from other uh, degrees. So yes, if you do have arts, you will be considered. And um, just when you're making the application, it's important that you've done some research about the program and the job opportunities from the program as well. We are open for my applications at the moment. So if you are thinking of applying, I would say to try apply as soon as you can. Um, and yes, we do consider um, other degrees other than business for this program. Thank you so much. And I have another question here. Um, during COVID-19 pandemic, uh, teaching is the teaching method a blended one? So during the COVID-19 pandemic, in keeping with government res uh, regulations, it was all online, but um, students were expected as far as possible to be live online. So it wasn't, there was uh, lots of opportunity for class engagement and even grades for class engagement as well. So the offering is a live offering. So when the uh, lecture is running, you, you do have to be present, but there is an opportunity to view the recorded lecture as well. Students really enjoyed um, uh, the group work. They enjoyed getting to know each other um, in, in small groups. They found that very useful and um, they really enjoyed the live classes. Um, I think I have another little look. I hope that answers your question. So I have a question on what the schedule for part time uh, track usually looks like. So what I would invite that student to do is actually to email me separately, joy.ohora at ucd.ie. 
and I'll put that in the questions and answer trail as well, because I'd like to have a look at your own circumstances, because there are choices around that in terms of whether you want to take one or two modules per trimester, depending on your own workload. You might choose to front load your modules and take two modules um, in, say, trimester one or from trimester, or you may choose to take one or, or vice versa. So we can, I can look at that individually with you. Very happy to do that. Thank you for that query. Um, having a look down here, is there anything else that you might like to? Anybody else have a, a query? If anybody has any questions for admissions, they can email me directly. So my email is laura.keely at ucd.ie or else you could contact the Smurfit Admissions Office. It's smurfit.admissions at ucd.ie. Thank you so much, Laura. And also there's actually a student on here who's interested in supply chain management. Uh, so uh, interested in, in attending that and, and doesn't know where to find the webinar for that, Laura. So perhaps uh, Dale could. All, all our webinars today are listed on the website. If there isn't a live webinar, we do have a pre-recorded webinar that you can view. And then if you have any questions in regards to admissions, you can contact me directly. That's great. There's still lots of questions coming in about um, job opportunities. Yes. So what I would say to that is that there are um, job opportunities. I think Alessia and uh, Laura have already spoken to that. And we have um, a very dedicated careers team. We have a particular service um, where you can upload your CV, for example, called VMOC before you even come on the programme. And uh, the uh, careers team get to have a look at your CV. So from day one, we're thinking about your career. We're thinking about where you're going. And um, during the particular pandemic, some students have been actually onboarded online and it's actually opened things up globally for students. Uh, so that's that's quite an interesting um, an interesting opportunity that that has arisen out of the um, out of the pandemic. Yes, so I would probably like to stress that uh, it is really from uh, October, November that our career teams already start working close to each student uh, in order for helping them uh, during the entire academic year to improve uh, all possible elements of the curriculum of their presentations and so on, and so interviews and so, on and so forth, so that they can be employable uh, soon. So there is a major effort and a major career team uh, in the school. And of course, most of the situation are beyond our control. But what I would probably uh, think uh, uh, as a strategic management scholar is what is the outside option? So anytime you do a decision, think of that. Will I have a better option if the job market is dead instead of uh, studying, will I do something else? Maybe the studying uh, uh, activity and the upskilling element uh, is the best option in condition in which the markets are the job markets are uncertain for two reasons first because the other option is not available and second because once the market is ready they will look for people which are trained in doing projects or line working together in team even at distance learning so the way of working has been changing and um, not, not, not only during the pandemic but the effects will probably remain in the future and if you have been exposed to this type of activities and skills development during a, a tough master program, this is gonna be a, a reason for an advantage when you are in the job market and when people and employers will look for those type of uh, uh, competences. So in general, I have an interest in both cases, I think it's good to, to be occupied with, uh, with a master program in whatever decision you do. Perfect. Thank you so much, Alessio. I have an interesting question from a student. Um, does the program connect uh, students with um, companies for projects? So interestingly, uh, this year we have actually an internship um, module with uh, Dr. Sean Cassidy, and he, there, there is the opportunity to be connected directly with um, companies. Uh, we also have a, um, a careers fair. Generally speaking, students uh, source their own internships, but with this particular module, there are some limited, uh, some, some places with, with companies directly, and not a huge number at the moment, um, but, but the opportunity is there. 
um, but mainly the internships are self-sourced. But uh, the likes of KPMG and EY, they do attend our uh, careers fair, bearing point. If you have a look at our webpage, Smurfit School webpage, you'll see all the companies that, that, are, that uh, have a keen interest in our students. Let me see if there's anything else um, that I can help you with. Um, I think that's really that's really it in terms of all, all the common questions. And then um, anybody who wants to email me directly, please do so. Sorry about my dog barking in the background. <laughs> Again, thank you very much for all those joining and listening to me, Joy and Laura, and for the admission team and the support from the school. Thank you very much. Best wishes. And I look forward to seeing some of all of you uh, in September. Thank That's you all so much. Best.